welcome to Rare Whiskey Friday. Friday. No. Do you want to do the thing? Yeah, I'll do the thing. Do the thing. I'm going to try the thing. <laughs> you have it dialed in, but I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> Rare Whiskey is a day where we drink whiskeys that, well, they might be easily accessible to some or not easily accessible to all, which means they may be rarer to you or not rare. I'm losing my momentum. Welcome to Rare Whiskey Friday. We're going to go through some rare... God, you, 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 <laughs> you, you jinxed me. You jinxed me. I did. The problem is when you think about it. You think about when it. When you think about it, yeah. it doesn't happen. So these uh, aren't necessarily big brands. Sometimes they are. But more often than not, these are going to be your smaller craft distillers without a tremendous amount of distribution. We're going to go through each of these bottles. And if you are so lucky to, to be in the location where you can get one of these rare whiskeys, you're welcome for the review. And thank you to the Magnificent Bastards that sent the whiskey. These are all from Lane Gross. Lane Gross, you Magnificent Bastards! Okay, so this bottle, dude. I can't wait to show you this bottle. Okay. This bottle. He wrote us a note. Okay. It's, uh, we're not going to read the whole thing. Okay. The short version is this. Because it's... About seven months ago, he found the Vault Channel and went back and started watching everything from the beginning. You poor bastard. Started noticing that he was getting more and more uh, specific tasting notes Ooh. and learning his powers growing. Oh, yeah. He was trying things. Yeah. And he got recognized by his local liquor store owner, oh. who happens to be Chips Liquor. Chips Liquor. Brought him in said, hey, would you come in and do a, some barrel samples with us and try some things that some people have sent us. Okay. And he said, I'd love to. He shows up with glassware, his own glassware, brings glassware, brings bread and crackers. <laughs> Turns out it's just him and the owner. Oh, right on. And the owner says, why don't you just pick your favorite and we'll that's what we'll bottle for our special store. And so they did their tasting. Right. He picked his favorite. He bottled it. The sales went so well, wow. the owner gave him a case. A case. Damn, Chip. Right? It's a good guy. And then he invited him back. I don't know if his name is Chip, but Chip's no, there. They invited him back to do it again, right. and now he's been coming like kind of the guy who helps the store owner he's, pick things. He's the man. And the store owner keeps giving him free whiskey, so he became so, a mooch. Yes, he did. So not only did he ingratiate himself to the provider of whiskeys, mm -hmm. he put himself in a situation where he's invited to drink the whiskey, mm -hmm. and then once people celebrate his knowledge yeah. and, and tasting prowess, he is gifted with an abundance of whiskeys. Yeah. I'm so proud I could crop. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. What is? What am I looking at? They custom. Look at this bottle. That's a they custom designed this bottle for this distillery. This is Nevada H and C Distilling Company. Okay. It's a whiskey called Smoke Wagon. So it's what, in Vegas. What's the whiskey? It's bourbon, right? right? These are the ones he helped select for yeah. chips. Okay. This is a single barrel selection from this distillery. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is MGP. Distilled in Indiana, they select it for this their is, distillery. This is so soft and... It smells... Care. Hold on. It smells just like Eleanor when we first got it. No, what's the proof on this? This has to be softer... 60% alcohol. Bullshit. Yeah. No. Yeah. This smells like a 45%. No, if you agitate it and get in there, it comes alive a little. Okay, all right. Yeah, the more you live with it, it starts to, it starts un to unfold a little bit. It smells beautiful. Oh, man. I could, like, the nose is really lovely. Like, we already know. <laughs> we already know we like MGP. Mm -hmm. it's I'm going to so, add a little water to yours. There's, like, a big dry cherry that swells up. Yeah. And then it almost turns into, like, a raspberry with an oak under it. What's weird is the aging in Nevada. Yeah. Uh, with MGP does totally different things than aging in Texas, which is shocking because mm -hmm. it's also high temperature yeah. and var high variance in temperature yeah, and yeah. cold and nights and hot days in the desert. Did they, how long did they age it there? I don't know. Okay. But this is seven and years then, old. So and the, I don't know how long it was in Nevada. The front end nose, right? I keep going back to the nose. It has this like velvety soft caramel with the oak foundation. So Aaron Chapinick and Jonathan Hensley put this together, but I'm still, I'm trying to get beyond that classic dusty corn bourbon cherry, but it's there's this aggressive spiciness well, in the nose that I I did not find until I actually got into the taste. Now I'm starting to pick out a lot more things in the nose. Yeah. But the first approach to the nose is like, wow, this is going to be it's low mild. proof, really, really um, smooth and soft and sweet and rounded. But 60%. It's nutty. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. There's a dry like a peanut, like crack open the shell, dusty peanut. We gotta move on. Uh, also, these are first impressions. Look at yeah. this. 
Chips liquor. <laughs> it's like the guy from the Matrix. Yeah. It's it's uh, Morpheus. Yeah. With deer antlers. Yeah. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, so this is Old Elk, which is Colorado, and we've reviewed them before on a Friday. Okay. But we haven't done this one, which is a single cask, ringing in at 53.7% bourbon. Okay. A vanilla tea. Oh, yeah, God. it is. You know, actually, Republic of Tea. Okay has a vanilla almond black tea. Uh-huh. And when you uh, add steamed milk to that, yeah. it gets this vanilla almond steamed milk tea. It's so good. Okay. And I'm getting a lot of that black tea, vanilla, yeah. and cream. Oh, I like that. It's sweet. It's very sweet. More sweet than I was prepared for. Like a sugar. Like a white granulated sugar sweetness. And the vanilla stays with you. I'm not getting that tea note. The thing is getting buried in the sweetness. Ah! <laughs> there she is. Okay, here's their normal one. Let's see what happens when they proof it down instead of using one barrel. This one was uh, Gordon and Leah, who are actually from Fort Collins. Thank you, Gordon yeah. and Leah. This one's uh, 88, so 44%. Oh, yeah, it's Same. only sweetness on the taste. It's, well, I'm mostly getting sweetness on the taste of this one. Yeah, but on this one even one. more so. This one has some spiciness to it. That that one didn't have, and I'm guessing it's, it's just mostly You proof. know what, though? People that aren't necessarily looking to go exploring and have really right. nuanced or heavy or rich flavors, they just want something kind of just sweet and simple. Yeah. The lower proof one could be there. Could be in a really good place for them. The higher proof thing that we're doing today, I really like the nose. I wish I liked the taste a little bit more, but it's that sugary... That, that sweetness that's just overwhelming everything for me. So you're ready for a surprise? And then there's a little, I'm starting to finally find that tea on the taste, right, that I was finding on the nose. You ready for a surprise? Buried under this. These are also MGP. Shut your filthy hole. I know! These are very different. I know! Very different. I know! Do we know which one we just pulled over there from this? No, uh, in theory. So this is single barrel cash mm -hmm. drink. 60%, good lord. Also single barrel casks. But not 60%. 53, 53.7. It's a different mash bill too. That's, oh, okay, I think it's a different mash bill. What the hell? Man, what are we talking about? I think it's I more... was about to go on this no, rant of no, how no. magical whiskey is because from barrel to barrel you can have so much variation. If it's a different mash bill. Yeah. I think there's more malt oh, yeah. in the old elk because it tastes like it. It's got that rounded buttery middle note. Because that was about to be a level of variation that is dramatic. Dramatic and stunning. But if it's a different mash bill, not so, it's not so stunning. We're only doing three today because I wanted to compare the old elk. Yeah. We're gonna end it. I really like these corks, by the way. I know. All right. Fake antler. Stumps, antler stumps. All right, what is it? So his comment about this is my favorite. Who's? He said, that Lane's comment about oh, okay. this whiskey. Yeah. He said, this is literally just two rich dudes who bottled a scotch. In Scottsdale, Arizona, who made a joke. And they called it Scotchdale. They called it Scotchdale. That's awesome. You know what that is? That's the dream, Daniel. That's the dream. That's the dream. Be rich enough to just have Scotland just bottle you your whiskey. Things, and then you put a funny label on it. Yeah. It makes you laugh. You can hand it out to your friends. That's the dream. <laughs> <laughs> this was actually bottled in Scotland, which oh. is why it's single malt. I wonder if we can figure why out it's Scottish whiskey. I wonder whiskey. if we can figure out the distiller. It's blended malt. It's Highland and Speyside blended together. Yeah, that's definitely where we are. Yeah. Eight years old. Yeah. Oh, it's musty. It's got that same mustiness that Monkey Shoulder has. See, I was going to say the leading note for me on the nose was uh, fruitiness. Wow. Yeah, but it has got that malt must, that space side malt must of the blends like Monkey Shoulder, which is a blend of malts. Oh, yeah. No grain. Yeah. yeah. Right? And then, and then butterscotch. I'm, I wish I had Heather in front of me. I'm trying to think. Am I getting Heather? She's super nice. I, do I smell Heather? Ooh, it's got to be proofed down to be as... Smooth and soft and sweet as possible. It's 40%. There yeah, it's definitely. There you go. Like one of those guys, you know, his name is Chip. <laughs> 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 and the other one is Gregory or uh, Trevor. <laughs> totally a Trevor. One of those guys, his name is Trevor. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know you know what territory we're in right here? What? This is, it's, it's, it's actually kind of funny. This was... A couple of guys getting together to bottle their own thing mm -hmm. because it's the, the palette and the proof. This is like it was dialed in for the most amount of like the mass market. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Possible. 
sweet and fruity and butterscotchy smooth and it has no complexity but no aggression either well no complexity and there's nothing offensive about it there's nothing right, right. challenging about it right down the middle right what it, i mean if this got scaled up right down the middle of a malt blend this is the kind of flavor profile i would expect from a giant name brand whiskey that are pushing a new release and they want as many people to like it as possible, which at that level it means as many people to not find something weird or offensive about it as possible. I totally agree. Here's the thing though, after you've been around the block with some of the higher proof whiskeys, mm -hmm. this is the combination of flavors and proofs that you can get in trouble with pretty quick. Oh yeah, because just keep drinking. I can wrap my lips around this bottle <laughs> and I could get way, I can probably halfway through this before I needed a break. And we're like, wait a minute, one, I drank too One much. chug halfway through before I'm like, all right, this is a bit much. And then I would die. <laughs> Thanks, Trevor. <laughs> But they're probably just the super idea. nice. You know, you know what the funny thing is, the ironic thing is, huh. the number of people that think we are incredibly rich dudes. I know. That just play with whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I just wear our merch because I don't have to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if you were designing a whiskey for the mass market, this nailed it. They blended is, for uh, approachability. This is what sells hundreds of thousands. It, yeah. it is. It yeah. is what sells. High quality. I know. I think Lane might have gotten this at Costco. Gosh, I can't. Daniel. Daniel. What? We're back after cutting so uh, much. Because <laughs> consistency. But it was their fault that you No! <laughs> you go to Scotland. You You're figure out which whiskeys you like. Once you want to blend it together, you back. make them do. You make them do the work. <laughs> <laughs> then you prove it down to forty percent. Bring it back home. <laughs> Give it to your friends. Such a Trevor. And you move. make a dad joke out of the name. Scotchdale. Scotchdale. <laughs> Trevor move. Such a Trevor move. <laughs> You're used to fighting, stealing, and drinking. <laughs> if you fight, may you fight for a If you steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.